Hello and welcome to this session everyone. My name is Yogesh Mehta. In the last few videos on Docker Swarm, we have talked about Docker Swarm basics, Docker Swarm cluster creation and uh, how to create services and perform the management. In this session, we are going to talk about how we can stop a manager to act as a worker. This is the one of a uh, generic question which everyone generally have uh, on the Docker Swarm. Docker Swarm manager act as worker too? So answer is yes. By default, all managers act as worker nodes. Main reason is in a single manager node cluster, you can run command like docker service create and the scheduler will place all tasks on local engine. So uh, what it means you can have a single node swarm. So that node where you are running single node swarm that will be acting as manager as well as worker. So that's a default way. In which scenario you want to stop a worker to be only worker like it can't be a manager or in other terms, you don't want your manager to act as a worker. For example, let's say on your workers, you got high compute system with the uh, hundred of CPUs, terabyte of RAM. I'm just giving example, but on your management one or your manager, you don't want high compute. You have very basic system because that node have to only send instructions and do health check of the services. So in that case, you don't want to run anything on manager. So you want to make sure your manager is acting as manager only, not as a worker too. To prevent the scheduler for, from placing task on the manager node in multi-node swarm, set the availability of the manager node to drain. As I mentioned in last sessions, drain mean uh, no scheduling will happen on the node which got uh, availability set to drain. Plus, if anything is already running, that will be moved to a working node. How you can do that? So you can use docker node update dash dash availability. This is the availability train and the manager node. So what it will do, it will make sure no new scheduling on this particular node. Plus whatever is already running that is moved to some working node. You can see some example outputs which I already got for reference. For example, docker node ls. When you run this one, the state was active. This is our manager state was active. When you change its availability to drain, it's set to drain. So it will still act as a manager, but not as worker. So this availability is for workers basically. This is in drain state. So that's good. Let me give you a live uh, example with a couple of services running. So it will make more sense to you. You can see on my screen, we got uh, three services running these two services got three replicas this is global service which basically assumes number of nodes you got it will run those many replicas and uh, this is the current node status we got uh, two nodes and one manager manager is also acting as worker that's the reason availability is active so let's quickly see about this particular service for example replicated service For this service, there are three replicas. One is running on manager, second on node one, third is on node two. So let's drain our manager. Press enter. You can see it's drained. So let's check the node status. It is in drain status. That's good. So let's check the same services for a replicated service. Now you can see that's uh, something important to understand here on the manager, the service which was running that got shut down and that got moved to node one. You can see here it got moved to node one because earlier on node one only one service was running. Sorry, one replica was running. Now node one is hosting two replicas. 
and uh, let me give you one another good example this particular service was global service so it assumes how many workers it got based on that count it sets number of replicas see i haven't changed anything if i run do right now or like earlier it was three replicas and three were active if i repeat this command count should be two now you can see count is two because by default our now our manager is not acting as a worker so it got only two workers so the count is set to two automatically that's a way replica uh, like you can drain the node and uh, that's a good example it will uh, give you more idea what drain mean automatically service will move to some running node no for the new scheduling will be done if i have to give you example of new scheduling let me do something here uh, i will create a new service quickly with the five replicas so you can see by default it will not pick uh, or schedule anything on the manager node earlier it was scheduling i have created a service with name demo with five replicas let this command to finish okay this is finish let's run docker service ps and the service name demo okay you can see all the services are running on node one node two that's a way like nothing will be scheduled on node one sorry on the manager node now so that's a way training work and uh, to give you one quick example if i create a global service now so it will kick off a build on uh, node one and node two only I have choose same name it will give error because demo we name uh, we already picked right because it is already existing so let's pick it uh, make it demo global again that's typo but that's fine the service will get created this time I'm sure okay it's got created check the config node 1 and node 2 because manager is not acting as a worker now so global service will only gets created on the worker nodes so that's it in this session guys if you have any query any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel thank you guys stay tuned